I'm on the ferry home now. I had to leave a day early. I got a bad tooth. I ate some cotton candy and it just triggered it. And uh, as soon as I get off this boat, I'm going to the dentist. But I want to explain to you guys a bit um, before this video what it's really about. Um, it was indigen indigenous, sorry if I don't say it correctly, indigenous day in um, Canada or British Columbia. So it's for like um, all the Native Americans, it's their day. So um, Ryan Cook has a, a girl that works with him. Her name's Sarah Douglas, and she arranges all these um, places for Ryan to go carve, and he does carvings for the uh, indigenous people, like um, for schools and stuff like that. So I will leave her, um, she doesn't like to be on camera. Um, she's not like me and Ryan and Kevin. But she, um, I will leave her information below if anybody does want to get a hold of her for uh, Ryan to um, carve or do carvings for them. I, I believe it doesn't, you don't even have to be indigenous for them to do it. But it's great, it's a, I thought it was a great way to bring the uh, people together. You know, Caucasians, Asians, um, indigenous nat natives. And um, I thought it was a real great event. event. There's some Indian singing, uh, sorry, indigenous singing and dancing in this video too. And um, I, Ryan and Kevin said I could have carved, but I decided not to carve that this weekend because I needed a break to let, clear the lungs a bit. I carve every day, as you guys mostly know. So I hope you enjoy the video, and there's um, a lot of meaning to this video about bringing the people together. And the, when the, they were giving their speech, the indigenous or the native people, they said it's a great way to bring the people together. So um, it, was a, it was a special day. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, bye. So I'm in Lake Couch and now I just parked up the hill there and I had to stop by and uh, Kevin, uh, Ryan Cook and Kevin are doing, Kevin Lewis, they both have YouTube channels, most of you know Ryan Cook, they're doing a little curving demonstration here, I don't know if they have much time to talk, and then um, Kevin Lewis is over there, he's got the YouTube channel but he hasn't been doing it too much, and we got a subscriber here from uh, Ubo, and we'll, we'll get him on uh, camera too. So we're doing uh you want to say hi to the everybody else on YouTube? Hey brother, how you doing? And say who you are and where you're from. I'm Roy from Ubo and uh, Jordy here got me into carving. <laughs> Wicked. Thank you very much. Awesome man. <laughs> and that's my buddy Scotty. And then my buddy Tim's over there. Here's a set of, let's Hey Uncle Kev! We're on the YouTube world right now. Ooh, hey, hey everybody. The, the haircut looks awesome, buddy. Thanks, bro. I'll never go long again. No, oh, you're so good. So what are we what are we carving today? <laughs> I'll do a quick tree spare face just to warm up. And then um, yeah, I want to do an owl with the tree spare face and play around. I just brought small stuff. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll be this here. An hour. Right. So uh, here's Mr. Cook. Music. What are you Hi gonna? Guys. What are you gonna be firing this, up today? Is this it? You hear it? I can learn. I can cry. Me and Kevin are uh, we're yeah. we're share playing, so we're listening to the same music as we carve today. But we're here for Indigenous Days here at Lake Cowichan. It's absolutely amazing to be here. Sarah's put together an awesome event. Everything we carve <laughs> goes to uh, raise money for the uh, Early Learning Center, and we're just gonna carve all day. So I'm gonna do a raven. He's gonna do a spear face, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll tag team off of what we're doing today. It's gonna be fast, furious, fun. He'll do quick. I'll do slow. I'll, he'll do slow. I'll do quick. Does that make sense? Sort yeah. Yep. Like a one longer one, and then one not so long one. Like a better carving and a quick carving. That's what I say. Whatever. I love Jordy, and it's just so good to see you, Jordy. You too, bro. It's awesome. There's uh, Uncle Kevin Wood Spirit. There's not going to be any ads on this video because the music, I might get copyright strikes. I was like, buddy, what is that one? There's the eagle.
Now I kind of wish I brought my carving gear. You did? No, I said I'm taking a break. Well, I'm sure they got enough stuff kicking around. Here goes, here goes Uncle Kelp. Hey, Moss! So here's Scotty, there's my three best friends, Scotty, Damasi, and Timmy. Yep. Come on. We're live. We're no, live. no, not live. Just YouTube oh, video. Wait. How many cameras you got on that back of that? <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> I paid an extra million dollars. <laughs> Kevin is at the Wood Spirits. He'll carve his whole wood spirit, then he'll cut the inside of the beard. There goes his bottom lip. He does that after so he can set the depth of his bottom lip. So if you notice, he's, all his beard's carved, then he'll do the bottom lip with the die grinder. Like I said, repeat, he can set the, the depth for his bottom lip. Let's see what Ryan's up to. Yeah, Ryan's carving a raven. It's got some nice shape to it. a little echo 2511 see when he's using that saw his other saw is still running too so it's actually a really super nice uh, location on the couch and lake it's got a nice cool totem pole here I gotta make a video showing you guys all the totem poles in the town of Duncan that's like 20 minutes away from here A nice boat launch down there and I uh I could Ryan said I could carve or do whatever I want but it's, this is Ryan and Kevin's thing so I'll just kind of let them do their thing it's nice to come and support some friends too see I gotta buy some raffles because what they're carving today raffle tickets because what they're carving today um you can win they're raffling you can win the freaking carvings that they're raffling off Way up north, eh? Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. There's Kevin's first wood spirit. Grand job, Uncle Kev. Grand job. 20 minutes. 20, 10 minutes, Kevin. Did. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you going to do now? Owl and a nuker. I'm going to do, I think you're going to do a little bear. Oh, yeah. Climb in there. Very good. Uh, I think 
that'd be fun, but I need a stepping stool. It's a little tall for me, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, we caught out. I take it out. I swear on all my videos, man. <laughs> so here goes Uncle Kevin carving the little bear. And Ryan's got his little, uh, look how fast Ryan blasted that off. See, look, he's, he's using his Dremels, and he, yeah, there he is, there's Mr. Cook, and both his chainsaws are still running, too, because he doesn't, he doesn't want to waste time. I imagine he's going to paint that all black. There he's using that new Dremel, uh, 40, 4260. Uh, uh, I turn it, sand it, and then, uh, I'll paint it, and then I don't have to sand it again. And then burn the paint. So uh, there's Ryan uh, starting to do an owl and a nuke. Kevin's little bear up there. Stand by. That's Uncle Kevin did that one. Yeah, yeah. I love the birds, man. I love the birds. One of the things that we're still working on some of that important business that has to happen. So uh, we won't be dancing today. It's still a little bit too hard, but we've asked our relatives from Halalt and others here today that are going to do some some song and dance to sort of showcase the indigenous culture here. Um, everything that we're trying to do here is sort of trying to bridge that culture bridge cultures together so you can see our development here we have a lot of people that live on our lands we have actually more non-indigenous people that live on our lands now than our own people do um, which is fine it's what we we bought into it's what the community has supported and we're trying to bring this type of event over and back to so we can showcase that culture to everybody um, you know we have multiple generations here we have uh, our granddaughter <laughs> our daughter my wife and then Georgina, so we have four generations that are here to witness this and we have others that are here with their grandkids and uh, yeah, it's just so, so heartwarming with, to, to see this turnout here today and thanks Sarah for helping organize this from the early year center uh, to pull this together. It was sort of, it wasn't totally last minute, but it, it was something that we wanted to do and something that we could do sort of in a, in a bit of a... Thank the dancers for coming out. Um, I know you guys are busy. No, no, they have a lot on the go, but we just want to say hi to you guys, let go for coming out and, uh, and performing for us. So we really appreciate it. So thank you, everyone. Let go, let go, and uh, enjoy and make yourselves at home today, please.
Part of your day today, before we carry on our work, we're going to follow teachings of our elders. We're going to do the introduction of all our group. I always bring this out because some of our chairs are empty, some of the spots are empty. But in our, in our teaching, in our culture, they're not empty. You heard our speaker before me. And they've, they've had a big loss here in this community. He's here. Along with all the members that belong to this community and their families, not to create anything to go wrong with our dancers, we introduce ourselves. And I'll start it off today. Antha Hudson. Today, Khalil. My Indian name, Hudson. I am from the Khalil territory. The name that I carry, my late father. Start here.
Watch this. I know what I know what's happening. He's gonna give it to this little girl here. See, that's what it's about, is giving back. Even Mr. Ryan Cook gives back. Good job, Ryan. Good job. Oh, thanks, buddy. Looks deadly, man. Yeah. Here's Kevin carving a little bear in that bear in a nuke. Bob and Sammy made it. All right. Good job coming down and supporting, kids. Kev, it's kind of loud here, but what do we got going on here? What's the latest art piece that you did? Um, my signature spook owl. Uncle Kevin spook owl coming up right here. You don't get any more spookier than that. Yeah, it's brand new. But there is uh, Uncle Kevin, and we got... I should probably do trees then, I guess. You better speed it up. <laughs> Maybe I should do something easier. That would be sick. I gave one away. <laughs> to get away from the noise uh, a little bit. Um, sure, a uh, great event. It's for the natives. It's a, a, a rib, original, original, aboriginal day. But all the carvings that um, Ryan and Kevin are doing today, uh, people buy it, spend $10 for a ticket and all the tickets are a fundraiser for something. So there's going to be like 10, car 10 or 12 carvings to win of uh, Ryan's or Uncle Kevin's today, so I've already bought uh, 
three ticket, four tickets. I think I'm gonna buy a couple more. Get some uh, Mr. Cook and Uncle Kevin's uh, carvings in my house. So I just came back and I thought Ryan was carving a bear, but no, it's a raccoon. It's awesome, painting her up. I don't think he's got his airbrushes today. Oh, look at this. Got the cowboy and the biker. There we are. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Pretty good. You gonna get in there? No, I'm not right. today though. Scott, you want a hot dog? I'll buy you a hot dog. I would love a hot dog. That a boy. Yeah, me too. All right. Sandy can't have any hot dogs. Hey, you had a hamburger for breakfast. Yeah, I did. With an egg on it. Good. An, an egg, egg. egg burger. Yeah. Okay, so it's a great day on um, the friggin' uh, Lake Cowichan, boys. Where? Where? Lake Cowichan. How many carvings you get done, Uncle Kel? Well, we're gonna count. Uh, I did five. Doubled it. Ten. Ryan did ten. And he was doing trees, like feathers and trees. <laughs> I know, he killed it. Nice to see he you. He did a raven and a wicked raccoon, eagle. Yeah, he pulled it off, sweet. I think that eagle head with that feather. Uh, once we get her done, sand it, it'll look good. Yeah, we'll show you guys a final of that eagle head, but I was hoping I could yeah, win it, but... Awesome. The it. chief lady's getting it, or... Who are the main ladies of the band? Okay, thanks, Ryan. That's thanks, good. Kev. Good Thank seeing you, you guys. watching. Subscribe to Jordy's YouTube page. Oh, you I got enough. Brian needs some more. We need to get some more. I'd love to get 65, but I'll, I'll be a while before I hit your numbers. But I'm so happy for you. And w thanks, Ryan. And we need to get Uncle Kev to do yeah. some more videos. Oh, yeah. Videos out. Oh yeah, that's all he says. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's just end it there. <laughs> Uncle Kevin Carbs on YouTube.com. Almost 2,000 subs. Okay, it was a uh, super fun time here. Got all the stuff there. I'll keep on filming. We ended the video, but I'll keep on filming. I got tons of editing to do because I filmed in 4K. But um, here's uh, Uncle Kev's two little bears. So Kev's, Kev's two bear piece counts as one. No, it's two. Yeah, no, sorry, yeah, it counts as two. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I like this guy. So we have a chance to uh, win, win these. And uh, win these, besides the raccoon. Sorry, I didn't say to, um, for all you new beginning carvers, maybe I said it, I don't know, I'm getting tired here, it's getting to be the end of the day, we're just kind of we're doing a song and dance down there, the natives, indigenous, and, um, but for all you beginning chainsaw carvers, go to Kevin's, Kevin's channel or Ryan's channel, because they're both real pros, and uh, you can learn a lot from them. You may want to head over there and uh, subscribe to their channels if you do want to learn a lot because they're the real, they're actually titled professional chainsaw carvers. They're uh, like Steven Kanzora. Hi Steve if you watch this. So all the raffles are done, everybody's going home. Got a little grasshopper here, cricket. You guys want to hear a story and Kevin and Ryan will vouch for me. When they were drawing, I was standing right here. Kevin was standing right here and Ryan was standing right over there and I said the spook owl was one of the last carvings they could they draw 
And I said, I said, Kev, watch this. They're going to call Jordy Johnson. I said, Ryan, Jordy Johnson, I'm winning the Spook Owl. Boom, they drew Jordy Johnson. Jordy wins the Spook Owl. This baby is going in my living room. Long live the Uncle Kevin Spook Owl. I want it. Long live the Spook Owl. It's in my living room right by the Spirit Fish. Long live the Spook Owl. Woo, woo, woo.